Hello everyone! We're in Italy. Actually, we're in Marche because now both Lazio and Marche, they're yellow and so we can travel. My family has a house in a little, 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 little village in Marche. It's called San Giusto. I love it. I've spent so much time here when I was little. We decided to go visit because Bran has never seen it. Also, well, there's another reason. My brother, like his tomb is actually here because this is like the family cemetery and so sometimes I know this is a little sad but I want to keep it real I don't want to lie um, so sometimes we come and visit just to check that everything is okay clean a little bit we're doing this now after this initial first little sad part I think we're gonna have a very very cool day in Marche because it's Brian's first time here the food is amazing here especially if you eat dairy or meat but oh, or truffle or truffle Stay tuned, another vlog. Yay, welcome back. This is it, Brian. The smallest village you've ever seen in Italy, and maybe even in America, I don't know. There are like five people who live here. It's like literally one street, but I love this place so much. If you add the other houses more around, it's not, I mean, you could say like this is the small town, but I do see houses all around. But yeah. there's no shop. The closest shop is like, down there. yeah, it's like 20 minutes away. I know this house is so old. This looks so old, right? You don't know how to open these windows? <laughs> that was very nice. It's a nice view. That's picturesque. Look at that. I just love this place so much. I don't know if you have that one place that it's maybe nothing special but it's like really in your heart I mean of course I have Tokyo but this is a different thing this is one of the most ancient and interesting churches in the area so even though this is a super small town we usually have a lot of tourists I I say we like I'm from here but this is one thing that I love about Italy we have a lot of hidden gems And this is my favorite place. I like this area right here. This is where I would spend a lot of days playing games that you probably don't know, like Tedesca or Schiacciasette. By the way, it's interesting how like when you are in an international relationship, these things, like when you say like, oh, let's play Tedesca, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Or even Schiacciasette, he doesn't know what I'm talking about and vice versa when he says like let's play I don't remember 21 yeah I'm like I don't know it's it's interesting and here at night stargazing is just amazing oh my god I we went from Flagler to San Giusto watch the vlog here that's right the American countryside and the Italian countryside if I was smart uh, but yeah, we left Malta two or three weeks ago. We had to quarantine for a few days and now we're free, <laughs> kind of. This is where it all started. We came here on our first day in Malta and this is our last day. How do you feel? Ready to leave? Yeah, I'm ready to leave. The main thing I'll miss is the sea. Me too. But at the same time, I'm ready. No need for two months in Malta, it's definitely enough. Personally, you know how I love cities, like big, big, big cities. I enjoyed my two months in Malta, I really did. But I guess it was just the perfect time. And even though I will miss this, I am ready to go back home. I want to see my dog and I need a bigger city, even though everything's closed in Italy, but I'm ready. And this, I just want to put this clip here because I had never seen such an empty airport. Look at this. Wow. Your Australian accent for this explanation, please. My Australian accent is terrible. So, as you know, I've been a pescatarian for like 16 years. But when I come to Marke, 
It's always so hard. They have my favorite kinds of meat here, like the spicy salsicette, like little sausages, like the chauscolo. Like this. I don't regret not eating meat, but let's just say that yes. when I'm here, it's a little bit harder. Actually, to be honest, it's not even that hard anymore. But when I was like one, two, three years in. <laughs> In Italy, a lot of times you go to <laughs> you go to special restaurants. They don't have a menu. They just literally say everything to you. They're like, we have this, da 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 da, this, 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 or this. <laughs> you have to know the names of all the food, and I don't know the names of all the foods. So they're just like, it sounds like this. So today, guys, we have the takamana, the fadaduda, the kapada, and the shalala. So it's like I understand what they're saying, but I'm like, what's the shalala? And everyone's just like, oh, I'll take the shalala, and someone's like, I'll take the takamuna, and I'm just like. What's Takam? I'm I just know. I'm just, just like I'll just have what they want. And he's like, Sonia, what do you recommend? And I'm like, I don't know, what do you want? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't know what you just ordered. I have no idea what I'm gonna be eating. Like, you will see. <laughs> something with panna. We wanted a typical appetizer, so we got some local delicious products. Delicious. What? What do you like? Everything. You're so Italian now. <laughs> I had pasta with mushrooms and truffle, and Brian had some cappellacci with ricotta cheese and spinach. Again. If you're not from Italy, look at Brian. This is called scarpetta, and even though they say it's not polite, sometimes you just have to do it. You're so Italian now. Hey guys, I just want to say that Sonia is the best. Yes, the best wife I could have ever asked for. Look at her. Yes, thank you, baby. He's really good at skipping rocks. It's been nice just breathing the country air. Does it remind you of Colorado with all the mountains and the nature? No, because Colorado doesn't look like this. I mean, it's beautiful. Colorado is less green and it's more like mountains it's rather than bit hills. More immense. But this is beautifully green and lush. We came here to show him the Marmore waterfall. I guess it's like Cascata delle Marmore. Beautiful. But we couldn't see it. We didn't get the full experience. I know because it's 6 15 and it closes at 7 and they said it's too late. Too bad. But this is not too far from Rome, so we'll come back and we'll show him. We're home, my hair's dirty now. I think it was a full day, like full of emotions and things and I'm tired. So I'm maybe gonna take a bath, watch Attack on Titan and go to sleep. I have to actually work a little bit and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. I know, scrap the vlog. Aren't you gonna let me say that? Scrap the vlog. I like it. Bianca, Bianca, say scrap the vlog. Scrap the vlog! Scrap the vlog! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great.